So it's hard to imagine this today, but in 1995, I was in law school at the University of Florida, and I knew I didn't want to become a lawyer. I just wanted to use the tool along with my finance and accounting background to uh, go into looking at buying businesses, acquiring businesses. And so I went over to the business school at the University of Florida just to see what internships and things they had, you know, jobs they had there. And I noticed that there was this company that was in a then little known industry called venture capital. And they had posted a job where they were hiring MBA students and PhDs in accounting and, and mathematics. And so I applied for the job. And they also had a full scholarship that went with it, but I was already on scholarship. And they called and said, hey, this job is for business people. And I had worked four or five years before going back to school. And I said, well, you guys are gonna need a lawyer or a law student, a law clerk to help you do legal research for all the things you're investing in, patents and different things like that. And they said, oh yeah, you're right. And that's, that, that was seemed new to them at the time. And so uh, they offered me the job. I was the first law student, law clerk they had ever hired. And I had to go get an exception from the dean of the law school in order to work because the only way you could work and go to school full time is if you needed the money. And since I had a scholarship, I didn't need the money. And the then dean said, what is venture capital? So this is 1995. The dean of a major law school didn't know what venture capital was because nobody knew what it was because it wasn't out in the public like it was today. And I explained it to him and he looked at me and said, you would give up law for that? And so I said, well, I have a finance and a you know, business background. I, I'm going to give it a shot. And he goes, you could be a partner at a law firm. I see your grades here. He goes, well, you can always come back if it doesn't work out. And so I started in this little known industry called venture capital. And I would take in the business plans and I would read, I probably read a thousand business plans while I lived there and I would make recommendations on which we should invest in. And I would organize these things that we called investor breakfast, which now everyone calls shark tanks. We had nicknamed it shark tanks and they would be at country clubs and business clubs. And it was my job to set all those up. And now 30 years later, I see it on TV every week. But back then, nobody knew what I was doing. And when I tried to explain it, nobody understood it. 30 years later, 25 years later, I'm sitting at a university alumni, University of Florida Law School alumni uh, dinner or reception here in DC. And I'm the only ones dressed in a jeans and a polo shirt. Everyone else is in a suit. And I think they were gonna kick me out uh, but I saw my name on a tag and said, no, that's me right there. And I happened to walk in and the kid who happened to be sitting next to me happened to be working for a large law firm uh, that did, dealt with venture capital. And so we were talking about that. And the then dean or the current dean of the law school came over, asked me what I did and I told her and she said, I need you to come down and teach the course on that at the law school. And so prior to COVID for the last five years, I taught the first business startup course at the University of Florida's law school on how to start the business from a real practical sense. And it's been really fun doing that. And it's been a great journey to see how all this developed.